Hey everyone, a lot of you have asked me how to add your token logo to Alcor for your new wax token that you created. I wrote an article about it yesterday, but now I'm making a video to go along with the article in case any of you prefer video format. So basically you need to do this through GitHub and I know a lot of you guys are not familiar with that. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that in this video. So let's go through the article here. Uh, before we get into the whole GitHub process, there are some requirements for your logo. It should be small, 64 by 64 pixels is ideal. Yeah, that's very small and usually a little bit blurry. I mean, I know Alcor doesn't usually enforce this too strictly, but that's what they want. They want 64 by 64. So that's what you should give them. If it's a little bit larger, I'm sure it's not a problem, but make sure it's square. It should have a transparent background and it should be in PNG format. And here's an example right here. This is just a little wax style logo that I used. And it also has to have a specific naming convention. So I'm gonna get my notepad out here. Uh, let's just say the wax token, for example, like actual wax, wax P. The token symbol for wax is wax, W-A-X. The contract is easio.token. When you submit your logo to Alcor, the way that it has to be named is like this. It has to be all lowercase. It has to start with the token symbol. So in this case, it would be wax. You put an underscore like this, and then the contract name also in lowercase, so easio.token, and then .png, right? just like I have the WaxDAO token, and the contract name for that is MD Crypto NFTs. When I save this, it should be saved as WaxDAO, all lowercase, with an underscore, and then MD Crypto NFTs .png. That's how it should be saved. So 64 by 64, transparent background image, lowercase token name, underscore, lowercase contract name, dot PNG. All right, once you have that set up, you need a GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account yet, you could just go to github.com and click on the sign up button. I don't really think I need to walk you through this. It's very easy. So I'll leave that up to you. If you can't figure out how to enter your email address, then this is this is not for you. Once you have a GitHub account, and I'll link all this stuff below, by the way. I'll link GitHub, I'll link this Medium article, and all that stuff. Um, and I'll also link Alcor's GitHub repository because that's the next thing that you're going to need to do. Once you have your GitHub account, you're going to go to Alcor's GitHub repository, linked below the video. And then once you're there, you will see this little thing that says fork up here. There's going to be a little arrow next to it. You click on the arrow, and if you go down, you will have the option to create a new fork. And that is what you're gonna do. Click the create a new fork button. I personally already have a fork of this repository, so it's not gonna let me do this. But for you guys, you just create a new fork, you give it a name, and then once you create it, you can navigate to it by going to your repositories, which if you click on your little profile avatar thing at the top right side of the page here, you will have an option to go to your repositories. Click on your repositories, and it's going to be Alcor UI, assuming you gave it the same name as the existing one. And then once you click on that, you are now in your own fork. You'll notice here at the top of the screen, it says MD Crypto NFTs, which is my GitHub account, slash Alcor UI. For you, it should say your GitHub account name slash Alcor UI. If it doesn't say that and it says Avril slash Alcor UI, that means you're in Alcor's repository still. You can't edit that. You need to be in your fork. So make sure this says your GitHub account name slash Alcor UI. Now what we need to do is we need to upload our token logo into this. We're gonna do that by going into the assets folder here and then we're gonna scroll down to not logos or images, but tokens. We're gonna to go down to the tokens folder. And then we're gonna click the name of the blockchain that we are hosting our token on. For me, this is WAX. For you, maybe it's EOS, I don't know. But assuming your token is on WAX, you're gonna click on the WAX folder, and then you'll see a bunch of images in here. And you'll notice that they all have the same naming convention as what I just showed you. Lowercase token name, underscore lowercase token contract dot png so what we do now is we're going to click on add file at the top right here and upload files you can just click on this little box here navigate to your token logo 
and upload it into the repository and click Commit Changes. Once you do that, your token logo is now in the repository, but this is your own personal fork here. This is not the real Alcor repository. So you need to still tell Alcor that you made these changes and you need to submit them to them. You do that by creating what's called a pull request. So right here, once you've done this, you should see something that says, this branch is one commit ahead of Avril Master. For me, it says two commits because I've done this tutorial twice and I uploaded the token two times now. For you, it should say one commit and you'll just click on that little blue text right there that says two commits ahead, one commit ahead, whatever. It will show you the changes that you've made. And for me, that was uploading the same file twice. And then there's gonna be a button that says create pull request. So click on that. It's gonna bring you to this little form right here. Just basically gonna enter some information about what you did. So you're just gonna say added logo for some token, some contract. And then you don't really need to say anything else because that's pretty much it. If you wanna elaborate a bit in here, you can leave a comment and then click on the create pull request button. I'm not gonna click that because I'm not actually adding a logo right now, but once you click that button, you are finalizing your submission. Alcor is going to receive the request and then that's basically it. You're done at that point. You're not gonna see your logo appear instantly on Alcor's website when you do this because once you do this, they still need to approve it. They're gonna go into their repository and they're gonna see this little pull request tab right here. They're gonna click on it and they're gonna say, oh, this person tried to submit their token logo. This person tried to do this. And then they're gonna have to go through them and you know decide whether or not they wanna approve them and stuff. After they approve it, then you'll see the logo on their website. There is no like specific time frame that this happens in, but if you want, you can join their Telegram, which I'll link below the video. If it's been a while, just go into the Telegram and say, hey, I submitted the pull request. Can you check it out? And uh, that's basically it. If you have any other questions, leave them beneath the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.